Yo, magandang araw ulit mga chong. Welcome to Monkey's Bananas Vlogs where we unbox anything and everything under the sun. And then once again, uh, mag-open ulit tayo and unbox ulit tayo ng Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Play Arts Sky Figure. And this time, we're going to open up Tifa Lockhart. So, the ever popular Tifa. Tifa? Tifa. Tifa. Uh, where, whichever part of the world you're in, depending on uh, how you pronounce her name. Pero... Uh, she's really one of the most well-known and well-used characters sa Final Fantasy VII franchise. Marami siya naging variations um, before Crisis. Uh, ano pa ba? Crisis Core. If she ever was there, I'm not particularly sure. But it has been a long time. Pero um, even uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Desidia. So yeah, she has been... Associated with the franchise, much like Cloud, and this particular figure is really one of the most uh, sought after, and this is the expensive sa line. I mean, along with Yuffie, mainly because of siguro yung rarity and um, yung demand and versus the uh, supply. So yun uh, right. Now, she's going for around 8k up. Depending sa seller, depending sa place kung saan siya bibilhin. And the uh, quality of the box and then if it's mint or whatever. But if it's in the carded plastic ones. But yeah, um, I bought her along with the rest of the uh, Wave. Red 13 and Barat. Or Barat. Barat. Uh, siya yung parang... Uh, sa data blitz ko ata siya nakuha uh, around 4-5 uh, noon uh, siguro yung iba nag hesitate to get her mainly because of the uh, she has been a figure that was created before the play arts line so they think that particular figure would have sufficed if included kaso ang play arts guy is uh, yung scale niya is way bigger than the play arts figure Maybe that's the reason why um, a lot of the folks had um, hesitations to get her. Pero, medyo mahal kasi yung price point niya last 2014. So, parang, uh, for 5 is hindi, hindi talaga siya biro. And right now, ang mga play at Sky now ranges from 7,000 and up. Mostly, yung inflation talaga, um, nag-increase yung value. More or less, parang hot toys type. Uh, type na yung ano niya. Pero as you can see, it has been um, taped both up and down. Uh, Nag-iiba ako ng angle ng camera. Tignan natin kung how it looks. But um, there she is. And the rest of the figures will definitely go along with her. And we're down to at least two, three, four figures dun sa line. Which is, we only have, um, actually we are only have two which is Cloud and Sephiroth uh, the one remaining pero I plan to have the Crisis Core, Aerith and Sapphire included in the display and I already unboxed and used one of the uh, stands ng figures na to pero here is Tifa uh, as usual o window type um, of packaging and then you can see here the yung kanyang insignia dun sa kanyang window is yung 7th heaven which is basically um, the restaurant that she owns she grew up with Cloud in Nibelheim and siguro matagal sila naging hindi nagka-communicate and nakita na lang sila during the avalanche days on uh, inviting him to join the group after being part of Soldier so yeah caught up and then that's where the story started so she has extra set pair of hands um an extra pair of head here as well and she uses martial arts as her primary tool to defend against every antagonist during the time pero ito yung sa window as usual let me just read the part the bottom the one who cheers and supports on cloud Tifa reopened the 7th Heaven Born restaurant where she was living in peace with Cloud and the others. One day, Cloud left 7th Heaven without saying where he was going. She chased after Cloud only to find him in the church within Sector 5. She drew Cloud out of his self-loathing and disappointment, wishing to fight against her fate together. 
combat style. Tifa is skilled in martial arts and her attacks involve blunt force like punches, bomb strikes, and kicks. With speedy combat style and that utilizes surprisingly high physical abilities and instantaneous force. Tifa stuns her opponents and showers them with her powerful blows. So that is Tifa Lockhart. Sa kanyang packaging. She has been created 2014. Uh, part of the Barrett, Barrett and Red 39 and this is the box art Call that box art and the pictures at the back side is normal um, Packaging is almost Pristine not actually due to storage and longevity sa storage Again, outside the clamshell. There. Finally, get chance to open her. Sought after figures, most expensive ones, along with the Yuffie clamshell. Um, typical. Advent Children movie, I think she was a major part of it because I see I'm not sure if forgot if he's delivering. But here is she is. With their black uh, black top. As you can know in the game, he's wearing a white top. And with shorts and I think she pretty is she needs that extra set pair of articulation. Mainly because of the stances that she will be used for, since martial artist Yasha, it would be great if if we if she has um, vast array of poses available for her, especially when posing or for action poses. Pero as far as open hands are concerned or an extra pair of hands, she has two sets with. Closed fists and open handed rings. And then, dun sa kanyang action poses. She has three, four set of extra pair of um, hands. Here is her closed fist um, gloves. And one that's fixing her gloves when like, she's ready to fight. I think you saw this when she did this uh, with Reno or Rude. And here is her extra head. I think this would look better for an action pose. Great sculpt, ball joint. And yeah, there. Pretty, pretty. Yung specific issue sa kanya, more recent uh, figure, so Player at Sky, is yung Final Fantasy VII Remake. Because she already has uh, a figure in the remake, in a Player at Sky version, um, along with Barret and Cloud, with Hardy Daytona. And sila lang yung unang tatlo na meron. Um, yeah, silang tatlo and then. The next wave will have Red 13, uh, Rufus. Oh, actually, we have Rude and Reno, which is part of uh, Barrett's wave, I think, and Tifa. Pero the next set of uh, pre orders that I have, as along with, um, with Just with Bike, uh, we have Red 13 again for the game, so for the remake version. Meron siyang variances, so meron siyang pagkakaiba dun sa Advent Children line. And then, yung si ano nga si Sephiroth but yeah another set and another uh, time to get on the money but yeah uh, for now si Tifa oh, this is actually her second version for the Advent Children uh, line 
meron na siyang version on Play Arts. Pero ito yung Play Arts Sky version, sabi ko nga kanina. Most of the folks that has heard before perhaps hold it back on buying this line or this particular figure. Mimi kasi akala nila it will work with the rest of the uh, as far as height is concerned kasi nga 4 5 siya before which is really expensive. Pero I think it's just a 6 inch and this ones are around 8 to 9 inches. But yeah, so here she is, Tifa Lockhart. So again, with the issue that they had mentioned or I had mentioned about the remake version is yung face sculpt. Um, there was a February release now in Hong Kong where the face apparently has an issue. It doesn't look the same as what the prototypes had. And uh, there was a June issue, a Japan, uh, Japan issue na better yung face sculpt and looks way more accurate from what has been released dun sa prototype. Pero nonetheless, Tifa is Tifa at some time or yung iba sinasabi nila yung angle ng picture and whatnot. But yeah, I think um, Final Fantasy VII is w already back in the hype, especially for the ones that had it before. But this one has uh, articulation wise, no articulation is upper arm, but uh, bring it up as is ball jointed um, elbows uh, her arms her hands and then you can hear the typical popping sound whenever you move her legs uh, double jointed sa kanyang knees other than that nurse uh, swivel on the thirst torso sa kanyang chest area and then ball joints uh, feet but yeah so I like to display her as well as in Goro action pose on um, attacking pose to Sephiroth and Rufus but as far as far as height is concerned I think yeah same height actually with Sid take a look Sid is just taller due to his hair but yeah she stands pretty well with Sid siguro mga nasa 9 inches to she said and then eight and a half for Tifa um, uh, with Yuffie I haven't displayed them actually yet because I'm trying to check on the how I, I'm gonna post them but okay here is yung papa and yung, uh, almost the same price point Yuffie, Saragi. So I think we're almost complete with our antagonist. We just have to have Sack and uh, uh, Aerith opened. And then of course Sephiroth, the one winged angel. Uh, other than that, I think that's it. So uh, I thank you guys for watching our unboxing videos and hoping that you can subscribe and uh, we can post more of our unboxing in Monkey's Bananas vlogs. So again, take care, stay safe. Um, good shit lang. Peace out.